Hello colleagues and welcome. Today is Wednesday, July 11th and I'm greeting you here from Manneke in the conference room where I am trying to get caught up after what has been a really crazy and interesting time here in Montgomery County. Um, many of you know that when I first got here, I think it was a, maybe a week after I arrived in Montgomery County two years ago, uh, there was the earthquake. And then we've had a hurricane a few months ago. And now we've had this drishel, this major meteorological uh, event. And I'm actually just kind of amazed at what keeps happening to us. I'm wondering, you know, the locust next because it has been a crazy time. But here's what I know for sure. I know that I work with a group of phenomenal people because it was amazing to me to think about how the college community came together to ensure that a storm that damaged our campus, that impacted our ability to communicate, did not stop us from figuring out how to keep our employees safe, how to serve our community, and make sure that our students were able to continue their learning. It was an awful time for this to happen, the end of summer one, um, and we had finals going on, special projects, people leaving and so forth, but I am uh, blessed to work in a place where people came together uh, from every part of the college community. I hesitate to call names of departments because I know uh, that it will drive somebody crazy that I forget somebody else. But I will single out one group, and I'm going to say this, facilities, because they were here in spite of everything, making sure that the college stayed safe and secure, and I want to thank them for what they did. Everybody else I'm thanking too, but I really want you to know that that was a labor of love, and I know that uh, it was a lot of hard work getting our campuses back ready uh, to serve our students. Um, as you know right now, this is the first week of summer two. We're engaged in lots of great things happening, uh, walking around the campuses and checking on things uh, to see how we've been going uh, since the storms it has been wonderful to see our students they're actively engaged and we're serving a record number of students this summer as well so I think that's something to think about our value and worth that we bring to the community this though is a perfect time to remind you if you have not signed up for it sign up for MC alert you know this is interesting Many of us know that there are lots of ways we can communicate um, when we are not face to face with each other. But for this storm, the way it impacted the college, the only way that we could communicate was by telephone. Our IT infrastructure was down. Uh, we had a very difficult time trying to get that back up and folks worked hard on it. But the reality is that MC Alert gives you the opportunity to know Every time something, a decision is made, we use that 140 characters to get it out to the college community. So please uh, make sure you go and sign up to do that. You can see that on the college's website. If you have any problems, call our communications folks because they'll help you figure out how to get on board with that. Um, while we're in the midst of preparing for summer two, we have our second uh, performance of the summer for our summer dinner theater. It's going to be Hairspray quite excited about that. I'll see it in two weeks. The first performance was phenomenal. Fiddler on the Roof. I just love the students. His little dance. That was excellent. But then also looking at what we're going to do in Hairspray, I'm very excited. So I'm bringing a whole lot of friends to that. So we'll see how that goes. We also have uh, Chautauqua at the Germantown campus uh, starting this week in the gym there. Um, the War of 1812 is the theme. So I would encourage each of you to have the opportunity to go out and see what's happening and see our phenomenal faculty and staff and students talk and engage in some very uh, significant discussions about how things have affected uh, this particular uh, society that we live in, whether it be current things or things from the past. Uh, finally, I, I'm excited. Uh, this evening I had the opportunity of being inducted into the Wo Montgomery County Women's History Archive at the Commission on Women's Gala uh, this evening. I get to follow in the wonderful shoes of Dr. Charlene Nunley, uh, who was inducted a few years ago, and I have the opportunity of being inducted tonight. It's kind of fun. It's exciting. Um, but it's a wonderful thing for me to be able to stand on this stage and simply tell our community that I love my job. And so it's wonderful to be at a place uh, that recognizes the value that we bring to the community, but also that works so hard to ensure that we do that every day for every student in every way that we can. So thank you all so much for everything. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying cool. Hope you get to have some time off, and I'll see you uh, not too long from now. Take care and be well.